An update now on the story we first brought you here on ABC Action News about a Clearwater man and his wife stranded in Turkey after a cruise ship nightmare. 89 year old Dodge Melkonian fell and broke his hip aboard a Royal Caribbean cruise line with his wife. Tonight, after we reached out to a state senator, some good news. Our Carson Chambers joins us live. Uh, Carson, I understand you're hearing there's still some problems with the cruise line's response on this. Right, still his travel agent tells me the 89-year-old is in a lot of pain after surgery to put a screw in his hip. He's had one blood transfusion and needs another. Still, he and his wife say the cruise line they were on failed them. He had a surgery. He's under recovery. We're not sure how, what's going to happen with the surgery. 89-year-old Dodge Malconian is finally being cared for at an American hospital in Istanbul after falling and breaking his hip on a cruise ship in Turkey. Can you please tell me why it's taking you four days to respond to me? Royal Caribbean, the cruise line, left Malconian and his wife at Port to fend for themselves, according to his travel agent. She says they were transported to a hospital where English was rare and the conditions were suspect. Tonight, she also says the cruise line's lack of oversight has only made matters worse. And I said, why wasn't anybody there with them? Well, it was a very remote location. I said, I really don't care. He had an injury that needed surgery. So you needed to bring a representative with you there with him. Tammy Levin says the travel insurance policy was set up by Royal Caribbean because the cruise was complimentary. Now their hospital bill is adding up $10,000 a day. And Levin says the insurance won't pay up front, which this Florida attorney tells me is breaking the company's agreement. Uh, actually, I read the policy over for that particular cruise line and that's not in accord with the insurance coverage. Royal Caribbean released a statement today for the first time that reads, we work closely with the travel insurance provider as they have the expertise to deal with local authorities and medical facilities. His travel agent says the response is misleading and a little bit too late. They're not, they're not looking for charity, they're not looking for anyone to donate or give anything, they just want to be done what's right. And Dodge Malconian is expected to need hospital care for up to 10 days. Meanwhile, his travel agent is working with Senator Bill Nelson to make arrangements to eventually bring him home. I'm Carson Chambers. Back to you. Thank you, Carson.